wondering why aren't we talking about boys being vaccinated in this in this country or is this part of the the plan which will uh, which the indian uh, society of pediatrics or the indian association of pediatrics or those who are considering uh, you know vaccination the vaccination program will that ultimately uh, be um, possible uh, that will they put it on to the program boys being vaccinated do you know um yes i think uh, if you look at what's happening um, across the globe and since we know that it's a sexually transmitted uh, virus which is responsible for uh, cervical cancer uh, it's important to vaccinate both the boys as well as the girls now um, this is a, a question of resources what financial resources countries have so it's a good thing to begin with girls because the girls uh, would be the ones unfortunately uh, you know getting the cancer of course boys would also at some point of time a very very small percentage uh, might get penile cancers but that's not really the big problem here cervical cancer so if with limited resources all girls uh, should get the vaccine if you have more resources i think you should extend it uh, to the boys also an important factor to understand here is while we're talking about the age of vaccination and things like that i saw a couple of questions there is that the current vaccines that we have are effective only when they are given to a hpv naive person that means before the person the boy or the girl is infected with hpv which means that it has to be given before the first sexual encounter so that could be very different uh, for different countries but generally it is understood that it should be given to be really efficacious and like partha said current uh, who norm is give two doses maybe and uh, you know hopefully down the line we might require just a single dose of the vaccine that would be great so uh, giving both boys and girls before their first sexual en- encounter is important while i'm saying this if it is given after 15 years of age to anyone then you have to give three doses so if we are going to give before 15 years just two doses six months apart if it is given after 15 years of age you have to give three doses and now the us fda has extended vaccination up to the age of 45 so there are people who are say hiv infected there are people who are immunocompromised who with infections of hpv are likely to progress into cervical cancer more likely than others who are normal to progress into cervical cancer therefore for such persons you can give up to the age of 45 years but three doses have to 